Okay, men, elves, uh, dwarves, it is time that we get rid of these goblin scum from our beautiful, beautiful green wood. It will be no Mirkwood any longer. It will be called, uh, what it used to be called back in the day. And they ought to be punished, these nasty goblins, because they've taken my clothes off far too many times. And if that sounds creepy, awfully creepy to you, it's because it is awfully creepy. There will be about 50 of us against 320 of them. So I guess I guess our chances are looking quite good. Maybe, hopefully, we'll see. Ah, yes, it is time for us to head in Gundabad Mirkud outpost and <laughs> die. We shall see. And also I have a lot of new stuff, because there was some off-screen progression going on, and I have a beautiful Galadrim, or Galathrim bow. Okay, let me focus for a minute. I may be uh, quite silent for a few minutes, or... Ah, uh, what was the... That, that's it, that's it, that's it, yeah. Ah, uh, alright, focus, concentrate. One down. Just 300 more to go. Okay. Luckily, the siege uh, scenarios for this mod are a bit uh, clunky, and we can exploit it to our benefits. Yes, benefit or whatever. Mm -hmm. I am. Ar I think I am much better at archery right now. And then I used to be in the previous episode, and it is uh, very enjoyable. Yeah, they are dying, as you can see on the uh, feed on the bottom left. They are dying quite a lot. Alright, this is a good position for an archer, such as myself. Alright. Chuck. Yes. Headshot. <laughs> a lot of skill uh, for me, a lot of experience to take from this battle, so even if we lose horribly, it is not all wasted. Uh, I will be out of my arrows pretty soon. Look at the precision of this bow. It's m so much easier to... Ah, to aim. Alright, Lady Muriel is here, and I believe even our king, uh, Thranduil, he is no longer a bitter prick, he is now a noble warrior for some reason. Well, like, you know, he learned his lessons. Uh, yeah, and I apparently didn't, because, <laughs> yes, I am still getting hammered by silly goblins. Mm -hmm. Tend to go into troubles rather carelessly. Right. Fortunately, I have a bit of a better armor as well. Oh, you nasty bugger! Just go away. Right. What are our chances? Uh, maybe if I can keep some distance from them? No, I cannot. Kill them all, please. Ah, shite. Shite, yes. That is, that is what I wanted to say. Now, should we maybe hmm, withdraw and return? How many of them died? A lot! It is almost one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it is. It really is. Although some of them probably bugged uh, out somewhere on the top of these uh, battlements sorts and yeah our guys are not very keen to follow them so yeah let's withdraw and try it once more we can do it certainly we can there is a oh this is all my guys I think did Lord Tranduil fell ah, fall 
all of them. Just mm. Lady Muriel isn't here. They're all knocked unconscious and wounded horribly. Nasty goblins, but we will win. We can face them. I I hope. I think. That's one down. Dwarves are very very tough. They should be able to kill a few. And then I will join in and finish the remaining few. Ah, yes. A very, very brave dwarf. Oh, we've won already. Okay. Alrighty then. Yes, we are very happy. <laughs> that was epic. <laughs> and that is silly, but we've won. We have won. That is amazing. Is our king uh, proud of us and uh, willing to give us some stuff for this amazing feat of bravery and such such? Good to see you again, Toriel. I will not forget our capture of <laughs> Ruins of Gundabad, Mirkut Outpost. Let us once again give thanks to heaven and pray that we not grow too proud. Alright, we, we shouldn't. I mean, I am very proud. And what did I get? Six rank points. Oh, yes. You make a good scout, Toriel. My runner just brought me your reports of the mission of Goblin Northern Outpost, Goblin Southern, blah, 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 blah. Well done. A simple task, my lord. Yes, and I should follow you. All right. I must beg my leave. I will follow him for a while, although our army is uh, rather uh, low on numbers. I am afraid, I am afraid uh, we will not achieve anything more. Alright, but the quest is completed as I hoped because the campaign is over for now. We need a break, we need to resupply and uh, yes, recruit some more soldiers. By the way, do I have anything? Yes, I do have a lot to sell. Oh, this is brilliant. Hmm. It would be a good idea, maybe, to go to Lothlorien and help Lady Galadriel or something. Mm. Mm, yes, this is what we will do next. Who oh, and apparently Eomer of Rohan was defeated in battle and killed. Now that 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 is horrible news. Not that I was uh, very like friendly towards him. I never knew that guy, but I know of him. Uh, certainly, Toriel would hear about the problems of Rohan. Uh, here she was. She visited Rohan once and killed some rook high for them. This is a uh, grave news. Uh, what should we do about that? Ah, Lady Galadriel doesn't really have anything interesting for us to do, and uh, it, 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 my heart tells me I should head on and go to Rohan actually and help them because this is this is terrible. So the King of the Dwarfs of Erebor is now besieging this little outpost, so we are really helping to destroy all the. Gundabad forces, well, Misty Mountain's forces, because, uh, is this, yeah, this is Mount Gundabad, uh, sorry, it's hard to distinguish them, uh, and, uh, from, uh, Moria faction, they are almost the same color, the same troops, <laughs> so, basically, is, and the same is the case with, uh, Dor Guldur here, which is basically the same as Mordor, oh, yeah, so, we need to wait here, around, or at least hang around. Maybe we will find something to fight, destroy. Uh, Imladris uh, just suffered a heavy defeat uh, at the hands of the Orcs of Moria, unfortunately. Uh, Elrond tried to besiege the uh, mighty fortress of the Troll Cave, but failed. Okay, we can advance you to uh, Tolltaker, why not? Fortunately, this is uh, not the best army composition, but I was in a hurry, so I just 
jumped into the Bjorning village and recruited some Bjornings there and some more uh, soldiers from the Woodland Realm, from oh, here, from the Woodland Camp. Because, oh yes, because I wanted to join in this battle. I didn't want to miss the opportunity to mm, get some favor with the dwarves and, of course, kill some orcs during the next assault. Ah, this will be laggy, yes, because this is, is this is just how the siege maps work, and this one, unfortunately, but we will manage, we will deal with the, uh, everything that the orcs can throw at us, I believe. I am very, I'm a very good spirit. We will, uh, we have a dwarf. Whoa, this is the king himself, I said, like, a dwarf, like it was nothing, like it was just some... Kili or somebody like that, Kili, before Bob, before Bombor and such such. No, it is the king himself. To the king! Yeah, we need to destroy this, and it's not not so easy, especially that my guys don't really know how to do it. I'm afraid I have to just smash the gate with my sword. That's how we do it. In the Woodland Realm, we don't need battering rams or such. We just destroy the gates with the sheer power of our beliefs. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Something. Apparently you can probably also just shoot the <laughs> the gate with your bow. That would work as well. I don't want to waste my arrows though on the gate. Come on. I know it is a destructible target game. That's why I am doing this silly stupid thing <laughs> and hacking it with my sword. Yes. Very well. All right. Oh man, you are dying like flies here. Ah, some archers that are already been dealt with by my guys? Okay, that's slightly scary. Oh. No, don't kill my one lone soldier there. It's good you are clamped like this. That, that makes you a very easy target for my arrows. Which I will run out of pretty soon at this rate. Uh, this is always the case when fighting go. Oh shit! There is a there is a cave troll. They've got a cave troll this time. Uh, kill it! Target the trolls! Aim for the trolls! Shit! Oh. Fortunately, the troll is killing his own as well. Oh, poor dwarf! What should we do with that? Uh, retreat? Maybe? No, we do not retreat. We are stupid. Oh! Oh my. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, dwarves are very brave. They are known for that. But also, uh, the bravery in this case uh, may be quite deadly. Oh yes, I have killed the troll! Aim for the troll! Do we have any reinforcement dwarves? Yes, we do! Great! I always like helping dwarves. Brings back so many precious memories, like the one with the dwarf who was inexplicably handsome for a dwarf and <laughs> had a very not undwarfy beard going on. And they, this, these were the only reasons I fell in love with him. Uh, come on! I'm an archer, give me a break. I need... I need time and space for my aiming uh, things. Action. Oh, if only you weren't so small. Annoyingly small Make it, makes it heim. heim. Makes it heim. Mm -hmm. I will just shut up right, right now. Hmm. Makes it harder to aim, is what I wanted to say. Yes. Just please die. Alright. If, if you want to retreat like that, you can retreat. And let me shoot you in the face. Or, or miss. Or, of course, this is always a possibility to miss horribly. Now, there's an archer there, which we should get rid of. And some other archers here. Oh, come on. I'm doing stuff. I am 
rather busy at the moment. Oh, there's so many of them. And so, well, not so few of us, but they are at an advantage in numbers. And this is why I have to call off these archers, and I am out of arrows, of course I am. Hmm, how should we approach this? We should run away because there is a huge bloody troll. Ah, can I jump off here? Oh, oh, that was lucky that I can. Oh, my archers are on the battlefield and they are shooting the troll. That is a very good, a very good turn of events. Yes, yes. Ah. Yes, yes, stagger him. Oh, 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 oh. He did a number on me. I didn't even see when and how exactly. But I believe my guys will eventually shoot him down. New enemies have arrived. I am out of arrows and I am almost out of hit points. So I'm not... Nah, I'm not coming straight to the troll who is now destroyed and uh, maybe... If I am lucky and sneaky, I would be able to pick up some arrows here. Picking up wolf arrows, yes, yes, yes. Mm, that's better. That is much better. Can I harm you? Ah, and this is not the best position to aim. Maybe this one? Uh, Still not great. I have to reposition and rethink the situation. For example, I can be of use uh, by shooting these guys down. Finally, this clump needs needs to be gone from this place. You are very nice to me. Very. This is very nice of you to just stay here and let me shoot you in the face. And... Uh, these guys are almost done. Yes, dwarves! Dwarven power! Oh yes, dwarves and my Bionings. We can... we... we... I think we've won. I think we did it. This is amazing! Somehow we did it. We killed two trolls. Now we just have to finish them. Remaining eight of them. Hopefully there will be no more darn trolls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they are glitched, of course they are glitched somewhere in the walls or in places generally they should not be spawning in. Eh. No matter. Yeah. That was some skill, I must say. Killing them through the planks. That's... That's amazing, that's epic. Dwarves. Now I see why some people like dwarves. Ah, some people, by some people, I mean of course myself. Alright, alright. So, what are the losses? We've lost six. Not great, but not so bad. You know, seeing the tremendous numeric advantage of the trolls and orcs. We've done, we've done rather well, yes. 31 dwarves were killed, unfortunately. Still, it is a grand success. Another Gundabad outpost is destroyed. I think the Gundabad orcs will be the first one, uh, first faction to go away, yes. And that would be a great thing for us, because these guys need some help. They were just defeated severely and, uh, yesterday by the game's time. And uh, dwarves are doing fine, as you just witnessed, <laughs> but still they could use more help and I could use help from them because uh, there is a companion for us to recruit in Erebor and it would be nice to have some... what's, uh, what's its face? Uh, Favor ranks, rank points, rank points, yes, yes, it would be nice to have some rank points with them. And, of course, there is the problem of poor Rohirrim, who are just defeated. 
and 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 Eomer was killed, so yes, this is what I have to do. Oh, we haven't met yet. Oh, well, my name is Toriel, at your service. King of Erebor and ruler of Erebor and Iron Hills Quarry. I feel I will not forget our capture of this. Yes, I, I won't forget it either, of course. Let us once again thanks to the heaven and yada yada. So, did you give me any... No? Nothing? Not, no rank points? Nothing? Yeah, shame. Do you need... Uh, Anything to be done, our land is facing dangers that were unheard of in our times. People are disappearing, I know what quest this is. People are disappearing in the outskirts of the Iron Hills quarry, not only commoners, but even small armed groups who venture outside the walls never returned. There have been the strangest rumors, but I know what we are facing, wild troll story. Giant beasts, twisted monsters, <laughs> monstrosities. Of course, uh, my lord, King Dane, mm, you can count on me. Excellent, Oriel, excellent. I have every confidence in you. Yeah, seeing as I just uh, shut down a cave troll in our battle. He must have witnessed uh, that one, and, she, and he thought, well, there is uh, these trolls, nasty trolls, around my kingdom. She will be a perfect person to deal with the situation. Just the right for the job, I guess. All right. So let's get some more archers, because they are mighty useful for trolls, apparently. And we'll try to find said troll for the king of the... Of the Iron Hills of Erebor. Yes. Okay. There's two of them and 26 of us. It doesn't mean shite uh, when facing a troll, uh, but we have arrows and I have a spear. We can do it. Yes. Charge them. Uh, <laughs> troll is asking me what do I want with his groin? All right, okay, all right, all right, it's not creepy at all. And uh, there is a bear on our side. He likes to show up from time to time. I believe he must be pr the proper Bjorn, right? This must be a Bjorning in disguise. Well, I wanted to do that, thank you guys, but really, they have some respect. All right. It was much easier than I expected. <laughs> yes, yes, I, 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 Kalima, and so on and so forth. Great. So this is done, and I wanted to do it for King Vane. Wherever he currently is, he is not back at his uh, kingdom. I don't think. Nah, unlikely. Still. Good, it is done. I will tell him about it once I meet him. And our brethren are in trouble. Maybe I will... I can't save them. But I will save this one axe dwarf that has been <laughs> held prisoner by the Rune Raiders. Oh, they are fast. And a lot of people apparently joined us. Really? Did they really join? Or is it some sort of a buggy... Oh, crap. And there goes all of my experience. Alright, so cavalry charge them, and uh, infantry just stay here, and archers stay here, probably. Let's hope for the best. These guys, uh, you know, they are good in the horse riding department, but other than that, uh, they, they don't have any good armor or any particularly good weapons. They are fast as hell, so they can be hard to catch up with. And this is why the Merchant Protectors of Dale are dying off right now. Which is awful. Let's keep them back. Let's not kill all of them. Oh, that was a masterful shot, Toriel. You are better than I remembered. <laughs> Now, uh, cavalry charge again, an infantry charge, and the uh, Toriel run away. 
apparently. <laughs> Whoa! Alright, let me just get out of the first person because it is rather annoying in this game. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Headshot. Okay. What else? What else? What else? What else do we have here? Uh, you Dale, people of Dale are dying pretty easily here, but other than that, we are, I think, victorious. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. This is my soldier, actually my soldier, not some vagabond that just decided to join in, stealing my glory. Glory, my friend. A glorious battle. Mm. Well, in any case, it is nice to fight side by side with the dwarves again. No, I'm not killing a horse, and I can't ride any horse, I believe, is beyond my riding skill. Hmm. Well, well, the battle is essentially over, so... Maybe I should just sing a song or something like that. It's midday. I prefer the light of the stars. Yes, I would like. Would else like most light of the stars? That was one of the most pointless dialogues in all the six Middle Earth movies. Oh, sorry. So sorry, friendly troop. Okay. Finally, Isengard is taking some beating, which is very, very convenient. I have to go there at some point. Oh, and our trainer skill is already working very good. So, anyone seen a dwarf? A supply train! Yeah. Yeah, no trolls, and just one rider. Yes, well, ah, it's a no-brainer, really. We should just deal with them and take their stuff. Ah, the scraps, I mean. Yes, no for no ranks. I have to disable the formation feature because it's just it's just derpy. All right. Hmm. Uh, mm. I do not have any cavalry, which is absolutely fine. Where is the one single rider? Oh, the sky is uh, bugged, or or this is just the darkness from Mordor. We will pretend this is the case. Yes, 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 yes. If something goes wrong, just pretend it doesn't. It's it's always the most uh, adult <laughs> approach. No, it isn't. There isn't any kids watching this. This is a very bad approach to any problem in your life. Do not ever do what I just did. This needs to be fixed, not just ignored. Alright. Where are they? I really don't see them. They are approaching very slowly. I'm dying, so our archers can go here to get a bit of a better position. Uh, our inf infantry can go like here. Who is this? Greenwood Veteran Infantry, you're bold. In the more than one meaning of the word bold. Uh. Ouch! That was a. Whoever did this, thank you. This is dead. This one... I missed, of course. Oh, 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 they are clumping. Oh, I'm down. Very well, Tariel. You are amazing. Well, all elves are. In one shape or form, but still. Ah... Where is my killing things, Mojo? I was quite good at it in the outpost. Outpost? Dead. Ooh. 
I can crush your shield with my arrows. Look, all right, now everybody can charge. Can I do this? That would be something. Uh, it wasn't me, but still. Still nice. Nice shot. Great. So, we dealt with the trolls. I would just like to take the reward and be done for today with this episode. Yes. There is plenty more games I need to play today. So, are we done here, guys? Well, 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 I think I can just cut off. So what are you doing here? Are you besieging? You are besieging. Oh, you god. You wonderful, beautiful dwarf. Ah, uh, now I remember. Why? Yes. Well, <laughs> I wanted to finish the episode, but maybe we can just destroy another outpost in this one? Yeah, I killed the trolls, so your home is now safe, my lord King Dane. And we advanced in the rank, yes. We are known to Erebor. Well, that's great. It was an honor to serve, of course. Do you have any other task? We have a positive Our scouts have so far failed. Get close enough to and dispatch the scouts. Now, now that means I waste soldiers I trained. Not, not doing that with the size of my party. I'm sorry, but this means I have to. I don't have to, but I would really, really love to wait until they head in. What is inside? There are two trolls, which is a bit scary, but not too much. I've seen armies with eight or ten trolls back in the day. And other than that, they mostly have orcs. They have some raiders, but they will be un dismounted. Yes, not unmounted, dismounted in the siege uh, combat. So maybe, maybe we should wait. Yeah, yeah. Well, and we failed because 300 Easterlings of Rune and uh, 500 or so. Orcs uh, decided to save this outpost. Oh, the king is in trouble. It's so much trouble. I, I. Oh man. Oh no. Will should we try and help him? Okay, this will be extremely deadly for us. There are very small chances of success. Metal thing there. Another three trolls, so that's that's more than ten by now, I think. And these rune cavalry men are so annoying in large numbers. <sighs> ooh, ooh, ooh. So yeah, I think it's time for a cliffhanger because uh, that was a no-brainer. That that without cavalry on the field and all that, we will, we would win. This one we would most likely lose, even though our troops are much tougher. Not so much of us, eh? We are still a pretty small party, but we can make a difference. Well, that was it.